welcome 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 this is Abraham sayweb.com and long, long time no see yes today we'll be downloading the SWF protector we are already on the vcomsoft.com uh, website you can see everything that you see now is live no rehearsals this is real uh, uh, nothing here is planned it's live uh, I was contacted a few days ago by a friend Alexander and he requested me to do a review a demonstration on the uh, SWF protector and there's a courtesy he sent me a few licenses well I have to disclose that I'm not completely impartial over here but the fact is uh, I need some encryption for my SWF files since I've been publishing them uh, on for paid performance on um, I have files on multimedia I have files out there netting me income so I like to protect them why not okay uh, the installation was not accelerated it was a real speed as you can see 30 seconds that does not mean that the program is more or less because the fast download yesterday I downloaded blender a wonderful 3d software also very fast and uh, SWF Protector is right now currently on version 3. Yes, these guys have been around. And let's test the licenses that uh, my friend Alexander sent me. Let's see if he's good or not. Let's uh, copy and paste. Uh, this is an email he sent me. Uh, if you guys want or decide that you guys need that, uh, price is affordable, thirty dollars. You can get a discount if you ask them. Uh, all right, all right. Here you go. Uh, the station is good, and um, time to start testing. Let's install. Okay, uh, for those, this is CS4. Yes, uh, actually CS5. I'm having a hard time with CS5, uh, but that's my Tetris game. It's working all right. Uh, actually, it was sent to Multimedia, and I'm storing. Uh, income uh, actually it's for a client but uh, see I have a suite of Tetris it's only Tetris around you can request custom amount of shapes easy mode one two shapes or even up to six eight shapes now uh, my code is out here and uh, actually I'm going to show you guys this is serious see it's on multimedia it's being approved and it's several websites are showing this and they are making money and my code is not encrypted if uh, is a while is a wide world out there, and somebody can decide to decompile, and then I mean say that it's his. So therefore, here's my code, my hard coded action script, and I think it's a fair. I don't know how good it is. Some defense, some protection. I, I guess I'm entitled to. I, I should try to. So that's why SWF protector is here. And let's see how it works. Okay, this is the user interface of the SWF protector. You're going to use the very same file that you used before because uh, the whole point of the encryption is despite the fact that the code is concealed, the fact that the code is uh, uh, away from prying eyes, the code has to work. I mean, the file has to function. So, okay, we select the file where and already it shows that red label that the file is protected meaning that the file underwent um, encryption and all it's left to do for us is to browse, navigate to the folder and see if the file works by the way I know for a fact that also generates a copy of the original file without encryption just in case for clients, for publishers see uh, let's say security warning because I'm running flash of the browser that's the file that was created as you can see uh, that's the original file uh, without encryption and there we are thanks for watching my video demonstration and uh, log in once in a while to see if you have something new subscribe from the website thank you very much